Oh, right! It's the hairstyle fashion show! Boom, boom, boom! Okay, we've got the basic bitch acrobat. Uh, wow, that- I can't believe you walk out looking like that. And then we've got the basic bitch alchemist. To be fair, that ponytail is pretty impressive, I'll tell you what. Then we've got a, just a cowboy hat. I won't comment on the rest of the outfit. Because it's just a hairstyle competition. And then we have a duck. And something, I guess. Yep. Yep. Nine point seven three five million. Oh, speaking of numbers, uh, it does remind me actually. Um, in a sort of capitalistic way, uh, Star Citizen. I don't know why that reminded me of it that way, but it did. Yeah. I really want to play Star Citizen three seventeen. I really do. I'm really excited for it. But also, like, right now, the PTU, I, I did record footage, I tried to stream it, it didn't go well, and it hasn't gone well since. Like, bef like before, like, okay, maybe I could, um, you know, maybe I could actually play it, and from what I saw, like, it wasn't great, um, I, the, the game crashed, <laughs> um... The game crashed, uh, or the game it would crash whenever I actually got a uh, mission done. And now the elevators in the in the spaceport aren't going, aren't spawning. So I can't do anything on that in that regard. Um. So I can't actually leave the spaceport, so there's nothing really to check out at this point. I mean, I guess I there's a coffee vendor, which is fine. But the exciting thing was that the the well, okay. So the the reason that there's that the elevators aren't spawning is because they're testing out new streaming tech. Actually, let me check their exact words. It might have been a new method for streaming or something. Testing focus. 317 contains new streaming changes that we are testing out. On the PTU and players may experience infinite loading or very long load times along with possible missing assets in games such as elevators or ships not streaming in. We are updating and fixing these issues as we find them, and each new build will hopefully address these more and more. Now, the problem to me is, like... I don't get me wrong, that's great! That means that they're like, we need to do something more efficiently here. At least that's what I'm taking it as. Um, the only unfortunate thing is that, like, this... That was yesterday, which Tuesday, April 5th. Yeah. And, um, like, I was also having those problems, like, on the patch they had Friday, I believe. Um, and, yeah, it's, um, like, I, I was like, well, like, this is literally, I cannot play the game at this point. Like, there, I, I mean, I can log in, sure, but, you know, I can't actually do anything. So I was hoping that they would, um, the only worrying thing to me is that they didn't put, um...
they didn't have an update over the weekend. They updated it. And I mean, Oh shit. Wow, that's just, okay, that's pretty damn, okay. No. Cole, if you want attention, just sit like right by me. Just don't just sit down. I don't know what this cat thinks. Head empty. Which, I mean, honestly, same, but like... Yeah, and it, it also, it just made me, like... It was a crazy thought, because uh, somebody was like, Oh man, yeah, you push the push the BTU to wave 2, and I'm like, No! You don't want that! Why do you think you want that? Because, like, you know, so, you know, they, they have it with internal tests, they get, like, some big issues out of the way, right? Um, like, you know. And then they go to Iwakati, get, uh, you know, more bugs, more bugs tested out. Or, you know, more bugs fixed. And then, you know, like, hopefully, like, by the time that they are sending it out to wave two, like, we're talking about, like, minor bugs, hopefully, you know, like, um, you know, some, like, non-game breaking issues, you know, like, elevators not spawning in, not being able to, you know, fly to places, yeah, that's pretty big, and that's a thing that needs to be fixed. And like, you know, like, wave two is basically like the test, the test, um, the test patch, but everybody can play it. That doesn't, th that's like, opening it up isn't going to help anything. And of course, wave one is just for subscribers and Evocati and uh, concierge. Oh my god, I don't- I did not realize that she had that many revivals. Good god. Yeah, you know what, actually, let's go- let's try moving back and taking care of her, because that's- that's- that's a lot. And the problem is, as an alchemist, she's just gonna be able to get more, so... But yeah, um, my experience with 317 so far, like, mainly, all I did was try a few bunker missions, and the AI, for what it's worth, seemed to be better than the last PTU patch, and certainly better than live, which, the test patch is probably going to be better than live in general, just because the servers are fresh, or are usually more fresh. There might be some networking things, but or there might seem be some bugs, but you know. Should be decent, I would think. Uh, 
Uh, whereas... Live, the servers are just to get swapped stuff. Oh shit, okay, I backfire. Ah, oh, well. Damn. But yeah, like, I, I really do want to try and get my friends to play 317, and hopefully we'll have a good time there. Hopefully it won't be a buggy mess. Hopefully, by the time it hits live. Because I'm not, and they're definitely not, I'm definitely not making them get subscriber stuff. That's for damn sure. So I guess I might have tanked Hammond a little bit, but not much, so, mm, whatever.